la 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 for the end of July, because we we passed, we late, shit, we passed mid-month. You guys forgive me between personals and getting sick my damn self. This lunar eclipse energy is been going down, but we here now, so that's all that matters, lines, all right? You guys, um, hey, boo, hey, this is first time to my channel, I'm Oka. Also, this is first time to my channel, look out, I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell the cards say. Oh, but I'm cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube. Mm, mm, mm. They can further assist you. Mm, mm, mm. What I cuss it. Mm, mm, mm. Cause I'ma do that. Mm, mm, mm. Hey boo hey to the new subscribers. <laughs> Welcome to the family, y'all. We are dysfunctional. We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel, okay? But we do cuss. <laughs> we share, we grow, we love, we enlighten, we evolve. Okay? Posy vibes only, you guys. Um to the return of subscribers, Samalia. What's popping? <laughs> you guys, thank you so much for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. I truly, 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 truly appreciate it. Um, the readings, you guys, thank you for your love and support. I truly, truly appreciate it. Okay. Um, this may or may not resonate with everybody. Okay. Take what does, leave the fucking rest. All right. If damn shoe is too big, don't try and put that motherfucker on. It's not going to fit. All right. Uh, this will be for the summer rising Venus as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Leo for the end of July 2019. Let's get into your intuitive next All right. All right. I might be a part time cross watcher. I don't know yet. Not sure. But if I am. I ain't telling y'all my damn business. Let's get it. Well, y'all, I was finna give y'all all the juice. <laughs> you guys, let's get it. For Leo, for the end of July, I got so contract. Rapid changes. Unexpected U-turn. New beginnings. New love. Renewals. Rebirth. Peace. Prosperity. Family ties, surrender, financial blessings, secret, oh, secret, secret <laughs> reconnections, obsession, ego, pride, arrogance, liar, compromise, confessions, path, revealing, creativity, life path. Dreams. Okay? So, if any of those intuitive messages did apply to you, this your message, boo. All right? Overall energy around the reading, you guys. Uh, for the end of July, we got the five of clubs. All right? So, some of you all may be in this space of feeling as if you don't have enough, as if things are not coming to you as fast as you want them to because you may not have enough. But Spirit says, um, your reality pretty much is where your mind is dwelling. So if you want these things, manifest them to you, not by seeing what the hell you don't got, but only seeing the good out of situations or only seeing the parts that you can do. If you're trying to put carry everything at once, baby, understand it's just going to get heavy. And at this in, in, during this time, I feel as if it's the, I'm hearing lack of control. So some of you guys may feel as if the situation is out of your hands. You try to control it. You try to do the best that you can do, but you feel as if there is some type of lack of control. Okay. So one second, the angel message that you guys got for the mid-month July, all right? And this is, I'm trying to do better with telling you guys what cards I'm using. Sometimes I don't think about it, but then sometimes I'm starting to notice that it's coming up in the comments a lot. So I like to tell y'all because, yes. Okay, so this is the Doreen Virtual Crystal Angels Oracle Cards, Okay. I'm tired of them damn romance angels. I don't want to see not another damn uh, forgiving and learning, okay? I'm tired. Pretty sure y'all fucking tired of seeing that card. You ain't got to tell me I know. All right, so let's get it. <laughs> Your message is Azurite. This is a crystal. The message you guys got is deep emotional healing. Your heart is ready to heal from past experiences, and you are willing to devote time and energy toward the therapeutic care, okay? Some of you all may need to give me a water during this time, but I'm going to break it down and read the damn angel message before I start giving you what I picked up, okay? Azurite, deep emotional healing. 
This is a positive card showing that you're ready to process and move on from a painful experience and trauma. This means that you're open to receiving healing energy and insights about your experiences. You're guided to devote time for your personal healing work. This may involve appointments with therapists or healers or spending extra time in prayer or meditation or on self-care practices. Detoxification from chemicals and processed foods and also negative influences come up very strongly for you right now. Okay, so I definitely um, feel the energy of healing with a lot of you guys. A lot of you guys are having realizations on particular life patterns or patterns that's been kind of um, consisting. I'm hearing for some of you all 8 to 11. But so some of y'all have been from the last 8 to 11 years when it, as it pertains to relationships. Some of you all are looking at your value structure a bit different as far as how you were raised, how you view relationships, how you perceive relationships should go based on what you saw growing up. Based on, And, and I feel like some of you all are open to receiving help but there's it, it, there's a need for you guys not to compare yourself to other people as well i'm hearing during this time some of you are also maybe getting into crystals or wanting to focus on your life path you're trying to use some type of creative pursuit in order to push through the issue is is that you have people around you that could be projecting their negative energy or you are afraid of how they're going to perceive your particular life path because it's not aligned with how you were raised or what they feel like they taught you. So there's a need for you to kind of stand in your own autonomy during this time and really trust yourself, trust the things that you know, and just allow them to come forth and allow them to be revealed to you instead of obsessing over the shit that you know because it's going to drive you crazy and it's heavy. Spirit is saying, that's not your part. That's God's part. Okay? from Starting today, Write, write on a piece of paper what is your part, what is God's part. A lot of you guys will realize that you are holding on to shit that you can't change. What you can do is plot, plan, and strategize around the things until you do get the resources to invest in yourself. And as soon as you do that and set that clear intent on what you do want, things begin to fall in your lap. The law of attraction, okay? Some of you all, some of you all may be also into that because I literally heard the law of attraction, okay? But also, some of you all, there's a need for you guys to get near a big body of water. For those of you who are not able to get to water, you guys may need to bathe in some pure sea salt because there's some type of detoxification when it comes to negative, like, like energetic toxins, okay? This could even be your attachments to other people. Some of you guys could have recently left relationships or be in the process of leaving relationships, partnerships, jobs that have become blockages to you, but there's still this clearing of energy that's trying to take place, okay? There's also a... a, a a focus on the throat chakra, standing your truth, standing your authenticity, speak your mind. Everybody's not going to agree with everything that you do. Accept that. You don't need the validation from other motherfuckers. Period. All right. So let's get it. Let's dig into this love life. Let's dig into this love life for the la 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 lies. <laughs> what messages do we have? Four. In the July 2019 for my summer magazines. Sign of Leo. Some of y'all I'm hearing just let it go. Others of you, ooh, others of you I heard victim. Someone you're dealing with could be a victim. They said it's not Leo. Someone you have this victimized characteristic to make you blame yourself for things so they can get away with the shit that they do. Deflection. <coughs> Alright. Sorry y'all, I told y'all I'm just, you know what, damn. I feel, like, I feel like I had a sinus flu or something. I don't know what was going on. Well, my eyes were swollen. They still look swollen. They itch. What messages do you have to summarize the things? What's the cross watches for the sign of Leo? To the end of July. Yeah. Some of you guys are leaving a situation that you feel as if you really tried to do everything that you could. It could involve a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? And some of you guys are leaving someone during this time because they drink too damn much, all right? Someone is drinking. Some of y'all could also be drinking during this time to kind to mask up this energy of feeling as if you don't have enough, as if you weren't enough, okay? Some of you guys could have also, um, some of you guys could have been trying to manifest something with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But I definitely feel like there's some type of issue. The situation is not coming together because I'm going to be honest. I'm hearing it's not faded. Okay. Um, for some of you all, you're praying for good and spirit trying to give you better. Some of you guys could be dealing with a cancer, Pisces, a Scorpio. They're saying trust your intuition. Some, if some of you feel as if something is getting ready to be over because a person has kind of been a bit distant when it comes to 
uh, the love that they're giving. Some of y'all have somebody. I don't know why they're showing me a fish in my third eye. I'm seeing, like, some of y'all have somebody who, uh, this I heard narcissist. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody who dangles their love in your face as if, like, they love is a prize. That falls way over there. Yeah. And it makes you feel like this. It makes you feel as if you're not enough or as if this person cannot see. Some of you guys are really done trying to make someone see your worth. And make someone see your asset to the relationship, okay? Others of you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person has mother issues. Here you are blaming your damn self. And there's, yeah, some of y'all are dealing with someone who has a narcissistic mother. There could also be people on the outside that's putting their damn intent, putting their, uh, putting their damn two cents into every damn thing but your fucking bills, but all of the all of your business, okay? I definitely feel like this could be a, a Capricorn towards Virgo who's doing this, especially if their mother somebody's mama is an earth sign or a water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Others of you, some of y'all could be finding out if you're dealing with the sign of Scorpio, either you could be finding this out or this person could be finding this out that you're dealing with them because you feel or some of y'all, okay, how I'm looking at this. If you're dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo, I feel as if you want something stable from this person, but this person feels as if they have to travel outside of you to find that stability, as if they can't see that they have the package right in their faces, okay? And for some of you all, this could be triggering an issue around your father, okay, or your mother, for some of you all. And there's a need for you all to lay that situation to rest, and to, well, when I say lay the situation to rest, especially if you're married to a person, it just don't come that easy. You can, but it just don't come that easy. I definitely feel like you guys are being advised to truly separate yourself and truly go in hermit mode into this space of solitude to get in this space of really reflecting on why this person's actions trigger you so much or why you feel the need to validate the, why you feel the need that this person needs to validate your actions or validate how much you love them okay there's a need for some of y'all i heard i heard the number 17 others of you i heard the number 11 some of you guys are staying with this person because you some of y'all have known this person since childhood you could have been a victim of some type of like family abuse emotional abuse i'm hearing physical abuse and you feel as if this person saved you um so this person kind of holds that over your head but i feel as if this person both of you have a fear and you have a codependency with each other there's this fear of separating like this person treats you or you treat another person like shit you you, you want to have your options you want to move on you want to break up on instead of being accountable for situations i also feel that someone's a mother figure this could be a child mother or this could also be um your mother there's a tall moment around this here for the leo man you could be finding out that a child is not your child okay this person was sleeping with many people i feel like this person made an attachment to you due to money okay for those of you who are going to court if you're a leo man from now to the end of july you are going to be finding this out okay but i feel like it's a blessing in disguise because this person seems to come out very confrontational okay Others of you, you need to trust your intuition when it comes to dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person is, it's like this person is, is not really opening up to you because some, some of you guys are dealing with someone, especially if they told you that they had gotten out of a long-term relationship. This person could be making you feel like not good enough or making you feel rejected because this person feels rejected by another person from their past who could be a fire sign or a water sign, okay? Some of you guys, it's about self-worth, letting go, surrendering, and acceptance, okay? Some of you guys are, um, some of y'all, <laughs> some of y'all is cutting off a damn Gemini, okay? I feel as if, and some of you guys, you want, this is a part of your transformation. Some of you all, again, this is about self-worth, and it's like, you see me work, you see me work all of these, pretty much you see me, somebody sees somebody is only being worth sleeping with. And I feel like someone's going to be coming to a realization that, no, they're going to cut that shit off during this time, okay? For those of you who are dealing with the sign of Gemini, some of y'all may feel like, some of y'all may find out why this damn Gemini been acting funny. Some of y'all, this Gemini could have thought something. Somebody tried to be slick. You don't have to be a Gemini. Because for some of you guys, I'm hearing you, Leo. I'm hearing Scorpio. I heard Aries. I also heard Virgo. Somebody stepped out and tried to be slick. I also heard Taurus. Somebody stepped out and tried to be slick here and thought that they was going to go transform a situation or set up a situation elsewhere. And they got there just to a motherfucking tall moment because the other person has lost passion for them. I don't, like, I don't want your ass like that. I know my worth. I'm not sleeping with you. And I feel like this person is kind of coming back. And I feel like the reason why they may seem as if they're dry or why it seems a bit off, why you're not 
passionately connected to this person. Your spirit guides are trying to protect you, baby. Listen, man's reject man's rejection is God's protection. Some of you all may be having something new, okay? A new relationship possibly with another Leo. Others of you, this has to do with clearing out karma before something new can actually be manifested. And I definitely see here, as long, the closer that we get into Leo season, some of you guys could be getting new business offers. You could be, if you own your own business, some of y'all could be actually signing deals. You could see uh, an increase in the amount of contracts that you're selling or that you're booking, okay? Others of you, you're actually going to take four. You're going to trust yourself and actually start that new business. You're going to invest in yourself and spirit is saying it's about damn time. This is why if you're feeling as if you've been single for a long time, Leo, this is why things were trying to come into fruition. To get all of these damn takers about your fucking energy so that you who've done the work can be the one that bask in your blessings because you deserve it. You understand? Others of you there, I'm here I heard renewal, okay? Some of y'all some of y'all are dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like I feel like there's love with this person, but I feel like somebody is not a, it's not opening up and being vulnerable. Even though this person does, they got love for you, but someone has a hard time letting something go from their past. I do see uh, if you are dealing with an air sign, I do see some type of clarity is going to be had as far as how this person feels. I feel like this person is going to have the strength to express themselves to you, okay? Others of you um, could be dealing with an air sign with Leo in a chart. I heard rising, okay? Others of you, you're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person is needing to make a decision, okay? Leo, this could be you needing to make a decision on if you're going to reconcile with somebody who you have children with who could be a fire sign as well. I definitely feel in that situation, there is still love there, but there needs to be some type of understanding, boundaries, and clarity had because either you or another person, I feel like it could be both of y'all feeling as if, you know, you're not really having a whole lot of faith in the situation. Some of y'all are getting ready to cut off a damn tour once you get some truth about this person's attachment to an air sign, okay? Or this could be, if you're dealing with an air sign, this person could have an attachment to a tourist who they could have children with, somebody just came out of the cold with somebody else, okay? This could be someone who they could have told you all kind of shit about. I never talked to that person. I never deal with that person. Who could be a water sign, okay? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The person could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of you guys are feeling as if... Some of y'all feeling defeated in the situation when it comes to dealing with a water sign because this person uh, may be talking about moving on. Um, from now to the end of August, I mean, to the end of July. Some of you all, some of you all are going to move, some of you guys are, were feeling defeated in the situation that, in which you've seen commitment with a person who could be an Aries person. I definitely see there's a need to take a leap of faith here, okay? Others of you could also have a new beginning trying to occur with either an Aries or a Cancer, but your ass is kind of standing in your own way, holding on to a situation where a person is showing you that they're not worth your time, your energy, or the energy that you're taking from your own ascension and your own elevation to give to an ungrateful motherfucker, all right? Think about it. So some of y'all... Y'all got your sword. It's cut time, okay? Others of you could have something new with someone. Spirit is trying to assist you in moving forward. Some of y'all are going to be cutting off a job. So I see somebody could actually randomly just quit their fucking job, okay? Especially if you work for some type of family business. Others of you, Leo, temper, okay? Some of y'all could also be having it out with your damn boss with, with the way that they talking to you during this time. This person could be an Aries or a Taurus. And some of you guys have something. Spirit is trying to assist like divine intervention with a situation trying to move forward, possibly here with this emperor. Okay. Some of you, but it takes some type, somebody actually reaching out. I do see someone reaching out to you or this person during this time to move things forward. Some of y'all thought this person could have cut the situation off. There was some sense of like defeat, all right? I definitely feel like someone is gaining their damn confidence back to move forward and make a damn offer, okay? This could have been an Aries who moved away from you, Leo. Just they thought the grass was green on the other side. They had fake ass grass over there, okay? I definitely see you guys wanting new, new only. I just want that new, new. And I definitely feel like some of you guys could be feel, some of y'all feel trapped in a situation with a Pisces. I feel as if balance is going to be restored during this time, especially some of y'all, it could have to do with finances. For those of you who are feeling as if all the weight is on your back, maybe your partner lost their job, I do see a solid offer coming through during this time. Somebody's going to be getting a new job. Speak your truth. Speak your mind. Get it off of your chest. Even if you have to write a letter to this person and never give it to them, still release it. 
still allow your mind, your, your mind space to walk in this space of acceptance. But before you point your finger at another person, always reflect before before turning up because there's you guys are definitely going to be experiencing some type of new perspective around someone, especially if this person is a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of you guys have been beating yourself up about what it is that you can do for a relationship for a person to open up. But this person is going through an awakening and this person has a fear of being by themselves. So I feel like this person, as soon as you move forward energetically, this person kind of draws you back in. Like they only know how to do right when you move forward and shit. I definitely feel like if you're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, there has been some type of reset. Okay. There's some type of reset that's waiting to occur, but there needs to be an ego death. Okay. Because I feel like someone's assuming that someone is doing something or attached to someone or maybe has a lot of options and this person is actually connecting with people who have closure seems as if they're walking away from their options like you and another person could have thought like fuck it i'm well fuck it fuck you well fuck you and now both of you guys are coming to terms that you know this is this is my boo okay some of y'all this can involve an earth sign capricorn towards virgo others of you this can involve a water sign strong emphasis on cancer Strong emphasis on Scorpio. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, y'all got a lot of outside noise that's preventing this union or people's opinions. And the person who you're dealing with is either easily influenced or either you easily influence Leo. But I definitely feel like think you guys are going to be coming to this place of harmony within the self, okay? Some of you guys may be in this place of not speaking to people or whatever the situation where there was no contact. Someone is going to be reaching out here now. Matters not they sign. Because I do see some type of energetic clearing. Like you guys are clearing shit out of your damn. Like closing all the shit to the karmic door. And going into new cycles here. All newness. Okay. And it definitely looks good from a financial standpoint. All right. Spirit, what's your best advice for Leo during this time? Some of rising Venus. Cross watchers. Yep. Then I'm going to tell y'all. Damn, I'm good. You guys are going through a new cycle here with this world card. So spirit is, I am hearing renewals. Some of you guys will be experiencing renewals and family situations. You don't really trust it, but I'm feeling to take things slow and ask the right questions, okay? Some of you guys, there is some type of transformation happening. Some of y'all could also be getting promotions. Or if you recently had to leave your job, spirit is saying this had to happen because you were needing to work on yourself. Usually I feel that with these pinnacles, they're usually like an earthy element having to do with material things. But I definitely feel like this has to do with internal space. You're needing to work on yourself. Some of y'all was using work as a mask up to cover up what it was that you were feeling. Some of y'all have internal wounds from childhood that you needed to cover. And Spirit is saying during this time, you're going through a death in order to have this rebirth. Some of you guys are definitely laying a situation possibly with the Scorpio or an air sign, Gemini, Lee, Aquarius to rest. Okay, you're going into a new cycle. And for some of y'all, this involves your damn twin flame. Some of you guys, this couldn't have to do with the Gemini, okay? Or this can also have to do, yeah, we're moving things forward with the soulmate. But there is some type of resistance because of trust, ego, pride, the lack mindset, assumptions, and there's a need to have a communication, a coming together, an understanding in order to mend things and push them forward and set boundaries, even with the outsiders. If you ain't paying no bills in this motherfucker, keep your two cents, period. Okay? So this is what I have for you guys. You guys, if you need a, a personal reading, that information can be found in the description. Once I get everybody up, then I'm going to put up a sale of probably three sales to kind of compensate a few people. So you guys, look for it, all right? I love you a long time. Sending you peace, love, blessings, and namaste, baby. See you guys for the month of August.